is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way For today's group adventure, we find ourselves once again in Las Vegas. You see, our friends who brought you such escape games such as Blair Witch and Saw have returned, this time with Escape It. There are two escape experiences here, one called the Fun House and one called the Sewer, and we are here to get terrified. Now here's the thing, whenever we do escape games like this, we don't like to show how to solve the puzzle. Well, you see, we're here because of the artistry of it. The people who take the time to build these near Hollywood sets, they're beyond beautiful. And usually when you go through them, you're rushed, but not today. We invite you to sit back and enjoy <laughs> Escape It. But before we get into the escape games, we have to take a walk through the midway underneath the big top here because they have some really cool merchandise, some photo opportunities, if you will. I like the shirt that says you'll float too. But they also have a little bit of a, a museum. Now just be lucky, baby goal, that I do not have a knife. Well, the knives are already there. Do they come out? They don't come out. Of course, they're not gonna come out for safety, but this is cool. Now there's a sign here at the entrance to the back room that says Dairy Historical Museum. But before we get in there, right here in this display case, there's a plaque that says the original costume used by Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise. Hey, that's got a closer look at this. Yeah, right? Man, this is pretty gnarly. Oh, I would wear it in a heartbeat. But here's the thing, as cool as the costume is, wait until you get a load of what's inside the room here. We're gonna showcase it all, but they have the doors. Oh man. Now if by chance you haven't seen It Chapter One or It Chapter Two, Stop this video right now and watch the movies. I'm kidding. Watch this, then watch the movies, or watch this and the movie at the same exact time. But these are the actual doors. Not scary at all, scary and very scary. Which one would you choose? Taking a look at some of the things here in the display case, you got a bloody skateboard belonging to a child named Daniel and used by Pennywise to taunt Bill. Right next to that, a photo booth strip of the Losers Club members. Go in a little closer. Right next to that, the SS Georgie, the paper boat made by Bill for his little brother Georgie right there. Postcard Ben anonymously sends to Beverly featuring a poem he wrote. You see it? Your hair is winter fire. January embers, my heart burns there too. Signed your secret admirer. Right next to that, a handwritten letter to the losers from Stan. The tribal chuds stolen from local native tribes by Mike Hanlon. Uh, the losers attempt to trap the deadlights inside the chud and defeat it. And then right over here, Richie. All right, that's cool. This is all on display. You just gotta come and do the escape room. And when we walked into the room, I know you saw the bicycles. So here they are in all their glory. Screen used bikes. Man, this is cool. And then this one right here, let's get a little close to it. It's silver. You see it written right there? You get a little closer. All right, that's really cool. All right, baby girl, you ready? to go in to escape it and get scared. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be a fun time. It's like playing a video game and not dying. You get to go in, see everything, 
have some fun, and then leave. All right, baby ghoul. Behind this door is escape it. Are we going to survive? Now don't go too far because you're gonna get lost in the fog here. So down into the sewers we go. Oh man. Now I know that these guys are notorious for creating realistic scenes, but I was not expecting this. This is kind of giving me a very unnerving feeling. Now, I'm just gonna tell you this right now. Yes, we're walking through an escape room, but we are not going to be showcasing any of the puzzles. Instead, it's just the artistry of it, the beauty, the grotesque beauty of it. Oh my gosh. Oh my. This is very unsettling. Oh, the rats, oh, the rats. There's none in here though, no rats. I hope. There's all kinds of stuff that's stuck in the store during kids' shoes, an old jump room, a little toy. All of this has to do with trying to figure out how to get out of the sewers. We may never get out of the sewers. I don't think they did. Right? So let's see here. Oh man. What are we doing here? We're trying to survive this place. We're looking for the missing kids, right? Yes! Oh, thank God. Oh. When those kids came through here, they popped my bus tire and graffitied all over the wall. You guys want to help me find a couple first aid pieces? Uh, sure. They gotta be around here somewhere. So I like that here they have this, like, they're almost like scare actors coming here and helping you guiding you along the way. Sometimes you need a little help. Oh, this place is just... <laughs> I don't think what you're looking for is in the trash can. We do have people helping us, so you're gonna see people pop up here and there. So we're not in here alone. They're just kind of helping, guiding us through so we can see some spooky things. So enjoy. You gotta come here for the full experience. <sighs> Collect thyself. Collect thyself. The smell that you were just pointing. Oh, you can hear the flies. Oh, I can smell whatever's rotting. There's a few different Does it go your way? clues that they're allowing us to show. Out of context. Oh, overshot, overshot. Here we go. Alright. Next number, do you see the hole? Should be on your side, right? Oh, I see the hole. Hey, look, it looks like this box opened up. Hey, check it out. Make sure you hold them up to the flashlight. 
Excellent. Did you bring a change of clothes? <laughs> so this place does have scare actors, like we said. They get you. They get you. You good? No. All right. So if they they got me really. Since really we're good. not showing puzzles, if they tell us, hey, let's show this puzzle, maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign. They set me up. Oh yeah, they did. But it seems like they help you in the game, but they set you up too. Next room is the freezer. Now I'm just gonna say this. This isn't the first time that we've been in a freezer for escape room for these guys. The saw escape room, remember that? Are you quality hungry yet? Meats. What's it, quality meats? Quality meats. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing but the finest quality of meats here. Whoa, okay, that was a hand. That was a hand. I don't know why. <laughs> why we keep accepting their invite to come back here, baby girl. Every time they say, do you want to come down and film our new escape room? We end up in this. All right, so there is blood all over this place. What on earth is that? Nope, that's a nope. This place just keeps going on and on and on and on. So we're in a garage right now. Do you remember what happens in the movie? Oh, baby ghoul. Here in the center is a projector. That should give you some sort of clue. Dare I say that this is incredibly sexy. Oh! Oh, no, please. Whoa! <laughs> Turn around and I see you. No. Please, please, please. You guys gotta get me out. Please, please, please. Uh, there's something moving behind you. No. Yep, no, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> so the lady is gone because Pennywise took her. Can we get in there? Whoa! Oh my word. How far does this go? This is gorgeous. I'm hearing somebody over there. There's a tree here. Oh, oh geez. That gave me chills. She was laying there the entire time. Baby, where are you at? Do you need our help? Yes, please. Please, I'm, I'm still trying to find my brother, please. I think your brother's long gone. I mean, there's a balloon down there. 
Maybe your brother's playing with a balloon. Wait, there's something with it. What? There's something attached to the balloon. Oh, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Jessica, you're my guinea pig. <laughs> what is attached to the balloon? What is that? What's on the front? What's on the front? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Yeah, uh, Jessica? <laughs> we gotta go in there. Come on, before it's too late. Me, all right. I'm coming in, I'm coming in. I'm following you, don't, don't leave us. Okay, I will. Oh my word. Oh my word. Baby goal, I don't know how they did it, but they copied our living room. There's a piano, does it work? still trying to escape this house. Come on. We're right Come behind on. you. There's no dirt up on this. This door's locked. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know if we're getting out of this, baby girl. Where are you going? I don't know. He's talking to us. That's not normal. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> Everywhere we go, these doors follow us. By the blood on our hands. Oh, you gotta put your hand, okay. Is she making you put your hands in the blood? Ugh. Oh, go for it. You're in it to win it. Oh! Through the closet we go. And we are in a twisted room filled with clowns and dolls. I don't know how I feel about this baby ghoul. So they have a coffin here in the room. Sacrifice? Baby girl, you're up. I love you to death. You're up. It's gotta be you. I'm the one with the camera. One of us has to has to document it. And she's gone. Baby girl, go for it.
she gone? No, there's gotta be a way to find her. We gotta, we gotta get out of here and find her. Let's go. All right, baby. I was wondering where you went. They put you in the coffin and you disappeared. Are you all there? All right, I think we have one more room. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. fog everywhere. We are down in the moon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. All right. What's going on? We can't really show much. There's a little peak. Little peak. Little peak. Now, baby goal, that is just one escape room. We have the next one to do. You ready for it? You ready for it? You and me. Well, <laughs> maybe just me. I know I sound like a broken record, but the escape games here, what they do, everything is just so beautiful. So to get this rolling, That's, that's what you oh, did? Got a little heart. There you go. And it opens to the oh, next right, room. Guys. I was trying to be gentle. Now talk about attention to detail. It's a real aquarium in here, a real fish tank. And some very interesting exotic fish indeed. It's funny, usually whenever you go to an escape room, you're kind of stressing to get through and solve the puzzle. I don't want to leave this room, it's so peaceful. But we got to get moving on. I just want to hang out with the puffer fish. Right? Yeah. So I think around this corner, I'm seeing a table. That's where we need to go. And here's the buffet. Man, this is like severely detailed. Again, we're not going to give away any of the secrets, but we have, do have a helper here that's kind of walking with us to kind of get us moving along. But you actually get to sit down. We're invited to the meal. Real fishies. They got real fish over there? Yeah. I hope you guys are ready for dinner, right? Oh, we are starving actually. It's been a long time. It's been a long 27 years. But the question is, who, where do you sit to do it? Like, where does it align? Well, it's like 
we got our napkins and we were our favorite coloring, so who ordered what? Let's see. Oh, She's trying to solve the puzzle. The next room we come to is Mike's office. And while they figure out the puzzle to get us into the next room, I figure we should just go ahead and explore. Oh man. It looks, this looks amazing. Got a map of the city of Derry on the wall. The flickering lights definitely add to it, that's for sure. I mean, I feel like I'm in the movie. Do you remember, remember, remember? I think I gotta be honest with you guys. I've been bringing here for a little bit more than just the reunion. Uh, you don't remember any of the things that happened to you? The next room that we come to is the Losers Club Clubhouse, and they got the sign all lit up over here. This is something else, baby ghoul. This is cool. Right? Oh, this is nuts. The sounds, the sights, I just can't get over it. Every single time we turn around, it feels like we are on a movie set. I know I sound like a broken record saying that. I see you. So the next puzzle room is the locker room. Oh, the door creaking is just creepy. <laughs> All right. So the next room should look familiar to you. It's the old lady's house. Oh man. All right. All right. This is kind of giving me creepy, creeped out vibes for sure. Like, but at the same time, I want tea. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Leaving the kitchen. There's a hallway in here. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I have a thing for hallways. <laughs> it's like walking through like a Halloween attraction, like a haunted house. It's so well done, but it looks so real. That's not a good sound. Okay. Oh, baby goal, I think you need to go and inspect whatever that is. Cause that, that's, a, that's a giant freaking hairball. That is so gnarly. The blood bathroom. And then written on the walls, and hair is the poem. I'm gonna keep the camera right here. Staying true to not showing how to solve puzzles. The storm blew me away. It 
blew the whole circuit. Oh my. Now this is uh, downright creepy and sexy. So we got a fun house. <laughs> Flick that switch over there, it'll turn on all of the lights. So. All right, so the, we're just being told, don't, don't do it just yet, but there's a switch there. Not yet, you gotta wait for it. Shiver with anticipation. Looking at it again, this time with everything all lit up. Go ahead, I know you've been wanting to play the games. <laughs> there you go. This is like a nightmare carnival. This is my nightmare. <laughs> you got this. So you do one game at a time. Yeah, yeah. That's fun, that's fun. So from here, now you gotta go over to the water, which is right over here. You're out, over this way, baby. Gotta be quick or else we're going to die. Not really. Oh, geez. Oh! All right, that's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. This is insane. Inside an escape game, they have actual carnival games. Let's get in here. That's me, as you can see. Once it gets to the number that it's going to Oh, we're good. No, we're not. I just really suck. Try and match it up with the numbers. Maybe it'll be. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'd rather clear off the scoreboard than the previous winner. So. Alright. Once all the numbers get to it, you can do it. I don't know if I like this carnival. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. oh my word! <laughs> Oh, and it smells like cotton candy. Yeah. Oh, my word. Now there's an arrow that says go to the right. Baby Gold's back there in the fog somewhere. There you are. The fun house is tricking us. So don't follow the arrows. Try give it a little. Oh, not fun at all, not fun at all. Okay, so those are the doors. And then fun, very fun, and there is a mirror here. Oh, there's not. Very fun. Oh, do we choose? I don't know which one we're supposed to do. What on earth is this? <laughs> oh God. This is nuts. This is nuts. You got this? <laughs> now this is a little crazy. It's like a shattered mirror maze. All right. I don't even really know where to go. But this is crazy cool. You still behind me? These are beyond terrifying in here. The next room, oh my word, it, it's beautiful. Baby goal, stop right there. Look at this house. They actually built the facade of the creepy house. 
and we got to go inside. Now walking through the house, this is, dare I say, disgusting. <laughs> Like, how do they expect somebody to walk through this, figure it all out, and not stand here and just go, holy heckins, look how beautiful this is. Someone needs to do the dishes over here. We're gonna take a peek inside the fridge. Oh, definitely do not want to eat dinner here. scary. Which door do we choose? Where'd you go? I was wondering where you were at. Oh! what we're looking at you got to come here and experience escape it yourself and be terrified that's the big secret You survived. We survived. Oh man. <laughs> All right, baby goal. You did it. With the help of some friends, we did it. I had a lot of help, I'm not going to lie. The puzzles are not the easiest to do, but they are the most rewarding. Now, truth be told, this isn't the first time that we've done Escape It. We keep coming back because what they do here is like walking not through an escape room, not through something that somebody built, not a movie set. You really feel like you're actually there in real life. I'm still waiting for my heart rate to drop because it's so intense. Even though we were being helped on our puzzles, it's an experience. You screamed a few times. I did, I did. There was one point I was filming you and I saw Pennywise coming up the, the, the hallway there and I was like, oh no, she's gonna, and you, you let out a shrill. You have a scream that, you're a scream queen. I, I said it, Jessica is a scream queen. You had fun? I had so much fun. I love coming back here. With that being said, oh, I had fun too. With that being said, if you find yourself in Las Vegas, stop on by, check out, the escape rooms, escape it. On the other side of town, they have the Saw escape room and they also have Blair Witch. But this here, there's two. You have to do both. They're phenomenal. With that being said, happy Halloween. Till next time, happy Halloween.